To understand the concept of subgraph, let's consider two graphs G1 and G. We can say G1 is a subgraph of G if two condition holds. And they are 1. All the vertices and all the edges of G1 are in G. And second, each edge of G1 has the same ends vertices as in G. You can observe here all the vertices of G1 are present in G. In fact, G has one extra vertex and all the edges of G1 are also present in G. And all edges also has same end vertices in G as in G1. Hence, we can say G1 is a subgraph of G. Let's learn some important points to understand the concept of subgraphs. Number 1. Every graph is a subgraph of itself. If you have studied sets, then you can relate it as every set is a subset of itself. Hence, it is obvious that every graph is subgraph of itself. Number 2. Every simple graph of n vertices is a subgraph of the complete graph Kn. I have already explained the types of graphs. The complete graph is a graph where every pair of vertices is connected through an edge. Consider this simple graph. Then its complete graph will be this. As you can see every vertex is connected. And now compare these graphs according to subgraphs condition. Here you can see every vertex and edge in first graph present in complete graph and all edges of first graph has same end vertices as in complete graph. Hence we can say every simple graph of n vertices is a subgraph of the complete graph Kn. Number 3. If G2 is a subgraph of a graph G1 and G1 is a subgraph of a graph G, then G2 is a subgraph of a graph G. Consider this graph as G2, which is subset of a graph G1, and G1 is a subgraph of G. Then here you can see G2 is also a subgraph of G. Number 4. A single vertex in a graph G is a subgraph of a graph G. Observe this example. Here is a graph. Let us call it G. Then if we consider a single vertex from it, then we can say it is a subgraph of G because it is clearly satisfies the first condition of subgraph. All the vertices and all the edges are present in G. And if we check the second condition, then there is no edge to check its endpoints. Hence, a single vertex in a graph G is a subgraph of a graph G. Similarly, number 5. A single edge in a graph G together with its n vertices is a subgraph of G. As you can see, it is clearly a subgraph of G. Number 6. 